What is going on today, YouTube? I have started another series called The Walking Dead. Many people know what this game is already. There have been many playthroughs of this game. I'm just one of the people that are playing the game. So if you choose to stick around, watch me, I appreciate you. So, um, I'm going to be honest. I played, <laughs> I played all the seasons from one to three. Even the freaking Michonne one, I've played all of them. I just haven't played season four yet. But that's okay because I'm finna play the game like I'm brand new at it. So yeah, yeah, y'all y'all see that. Look at that. That's just that's just crazy to me. Hey, but none of that none of that matters. None of that matters. None of that matters. So just finna get this new series done. This game adapts to the choices you make. Yep, we all know that. We all know that. Yes, sir. Look at my boy Lee back there, man. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. I sure didn't. All right, let's see. You know what they say about reckoning. Does it really matter? Why do you say that? You know what they say about reckoning. I don't, but I reckon <laughs> it's a lot like I don't scene. either. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. <laughs> Put some false hope in their head. I guess it worked every time, too. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? So you got an option here for making. Uh, You've got an opinion then? I said you got an option. I say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Eh, yeah, let's not talk about her. You feel what I'm saying? You want to know how I see it? Sure. He wasn't expecting that answer. Regardless. Could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed. 
stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. Look at watch the road, my boy. Watch the road, my boy. If I do say so. Dang. I said freaking drive like he's not driving already. He out there getting bodied. Yeah, buddy is slumped. Look at him. Man. Hey. Oh, Walker kills hey, him. Officer. Did a number on right? I'm still cut back here. Do it look like he alright? Do it look like he good? Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He was dragged from the car, the my hell dude. Did he have his gun out. Damn it. I need to drag myself out that window. Come on. Come on, you got this, my boy. Even though your leg is damaged severely, you got this, Lee. Man, I just, now that I think about it, I really want to know how the zombie apocalypse started. I heard, or not I heard, but I seen from an iceberg that I have seen online that apparently it started from a alien invasion. Officer? Now, I, that's believable because what type of freaking, like how, how? How are zombies possible? How the freak are they possible? Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Yeah, my boy, you gotta go search that officer. This thing is gonna body me. Come on, you gotta cough up them keys, dude. Ooh wee! And I'm sorry, boy. Looting your corpse. Shit. Now, I have to be honest. There is going to be a bit of a problem. Probably not that big of a problem recording this game. But my Xbox can only record 10 or so minutes per recording. So each time I record... It's always going to be 10 or less. Sometimes I stop it early so it doesn't go over. Sometimes I even forget to stop it. But I just need something that is going to record my videos longer. Yep, look at that. Holy shit! Yep, we already know what the freak's coming. We already know what's about to happen. Get away from me! Come on, come on. Get the shoddy. Hey. Put that mug in there. I know this. Hey, drop this slugs. You can't be doing that when your life is on the line. Get the freak back. Shoot up, mug. Dang, man. 
I pressed the trigger to shoot him. I was really supposed to press A. Skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. Yeah, I know that much. Help! Go get someone! Come in time! There's been a shooting! Oh my gosh, why is it every time I'm supposed to be running I gotta trip over something? Gosh. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, if my adrenaline was kicking, if my adrenaline was kicking, bro, and I was running from something, I'm not gonna trip over what I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna trip. Whatever's in my way gonna get kicked. It's gonna get kicked. I'm gonna kick that thing like I'm Superman, see that? I was just the outer space. Hello? Anybody? I don't think you want to make too much noise, my boy. Who knows what you might attract? I wonder if anybody's home. About to find out. Sam! I wonder if anybody's home. Bro, open the door, dude. You done said that twice. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. You think? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Come on now, Lee. You can't say that. You was about to go to jail, my boy. Oh my! Oh, uh, <laughs> how did he fall like that? I wonder if I could trigger that animation again. Oh no, I can't. Oh my gosh, dude! Got some paper towels. We gonna need that, man. Wipe that blood stain off the floor so you don't slip again. I'm about to raid this. Just drank from someone's entire. Oh my gosh. Spitting everything. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Yeah. Beeping. That is the type of note you leave a babysitter. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. 
Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive they back tonight. Have a picture to TV? When did this game take Thank place? Thank you so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at eleven nineteen p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Dang, man. You already know what happened to them. They turned into food. Man, nah, they ain't even turned into food. They turned into dinner, man. It was the appetizer. Are you okay? Goodness. I'm okay. They was on the lunch menu, man. But I'm hiding until my parents They was bread, bro. They was breakfast food for McDonald's. And that's just crazy to me. What they, bro? That's just crazy. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Poor Clementine. Are you safe? Poor Clementine. They're not I just where the boats are. That's smart. They're where the zombies are. See? Can you see me? I, can I mean, see you we all window. are, basically. Technically. <laughs> but them? Boats? Was they last worry? All I got to say. Oh my god! <laughs> How you slip? Get the freak back! Hey! I was trying to grab a hold of somebody. I can't even lie though. All of a sudden, this man's legs start working. Guess he got adrenaline. Freak back, huh? Pop. Give me that. Thank you very much, Clementine. You're eight years old. Pop. Bink! 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 Yes, sir. The freak back. Hey, what is that? <laughs> there was no saving that thing. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? How is she not traumatized by this? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two you nights think? Ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Oh my you know, gosh! Oh, How did we break the news I to her? But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Oh man, Clementine. Yeah, it's not safe at night. All I gotta say was your freaking family. Let's go. Ooh, I don't wanna Stay be close man. Close. Your family turned into a birthday cake. You feel what I'm saying?
ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Huh? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Oh my gosh, they is not coming back. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are Tell you us to about get out of here? it, bro. Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I feel like I should have said I... babysitter, but I've never said just some guy before. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Yeah, and I am a couple too. I can't even hold you. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. No, you won't. It was nice to meet you both. Bro, this dude gonna walk home? Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Technically, yes. no. Huh? Okay then. Well. Looks like you hurt your leg. Bro, she don't know me. I met her like two seconds ago. Yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? 
car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? To prison. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. Yeah, you give him, he give my gist. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what, what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is. <laughs> Look at her face. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> Clem! It, redress it and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Dookie. I know what it smells like. Duty. Smell like hot dookie cakes in that barn. I already know it. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Duck, well, you shut up. Carmen. You like, can real talk, you need to be Whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit.
All right. We are on to it, man. We are on to it. Let's go. Let's go have a talk with Kenny, I guess. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help, help, my boy? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Could have. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I uh, think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Trust me, I know what I'm capable of. What are you capable of, Kenny? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. The foreshadowing is crazy. We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. The foreshadowing is crazy. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Man, I can tell you a thing or two about that boat, Kenny. I can tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just past people over some just just uh, it's okay it's fine you don't have to say anymore i want to go home tomorrow but even then i can't take away the things we the things doc went through don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this My last thought I had before seeing any of what happened was of those wrinkly Sharpays I see at the clinic. I want to go right back to thinking about that silly dog. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Well, I learned Clem is eight and she is a first grader. I didn't even know that I ran into you. You know what I'm saying? Ah, you know what I'm saying? Can I not run into the tree, please? Hey, slow walking self. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the farmer. Lift with your back, man, duck, Sean. Man, duck. Oh, get How off that doing, tractor. Good. I wish I could. I'm gonna drive the tractor. Why am I listening to this? I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Huh? Why am I gonna drive the tractor? Hey, Lee. I wish I could throw him off it. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. 
A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Well... My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back. Shut up! Dang, I didn't mean to even click that. Dang. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Didn't I already tell you? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? We don't speak a white we don't speak about that life. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But I've been telling nothing but the truth. Man giving you advice. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'll Look, my oh my gosh, duck! Ah! Ah! And he's just standing there, bro, just sitting there. Dang. Could you be a coward like that, Kenny? Dang, I understand family come first, but bro. And what took buddy so long to get the gun? I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, 
really tried to save me. I know, son. I... <sighs> Look at his face. to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can kill us your daughter and you need his help. Please. Oh my gosh, the Just foreshadowing, bro. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, this is as far as we're going, and it's far enough. friendly trucks run out of gas do he look friendly bro Fuck. do he look friendly you see bro on the ground eating guts how did he not get bit i don't understand dang she fine glenn Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to oh, excuse uh, me the hell. <clears throat> or anyone will. You about survival. don't. Do you I guys do. not see what's happening? What is it? I, I have to <laughs> I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go. Dana boy Lee is they angry. Kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. <laughs> Damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. <laughs> Him up. There's oh no my god! Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen oh, this happen. Too funny. We get someone with a bite stain, and we all end up bitten. Shut up! We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny! Oh my gosh! The foreshadowing. Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. I want to press Y so bad. Now. That's we'll just. Get this kid out of here. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Wait, I didn't side Everyone with Kenny. Chill the fuck out. 
Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that means I got a freaking... Oh my gosh. Alright, here we go again, guys. Now, when I pick an option in The Walking Dead that I don't like... I reset the freaking game. But I can reach my options. I don't got no, I don't got no regrets. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! What do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad, you need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they will find us, and they will get in here. This <laughs> man, Larry is different. Out. But right now, Yo. we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Alright. And her. Dang. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> We went crazy. Day. Audio was too loud. Get out the way, like, dude. You fall way too much. Dang, and your vision blurry too. Hey. Said it like he's vengeance or something. Get the freak off me. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. I did try to get him to calm down. <laughs> Asshole. It's his heart. My pills. <laughs> Nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll yeah, keep an eye on she my She knows dad. what it is. Everyone I else should too. get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. 
You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know making. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Carly Doug when the reporter. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alright, so we're gonna look for this little punk. And I hate this dude right here, bro. Hey! We shouldn't look for nothing. We shouldn't be looking for a dang on thing, bro. Frack them pills and frack Larry. God. I'm sorry, my boy. Jeez, man, what a hard this life. Leads to the back alley. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. For now, let's take a look at this. Gosh, man. I understand that feeling, my boy. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who is sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Forgive me, y'all, for pausing every 10 minutes. I already explained I earlier why to I do right. it. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone <laughs> yeah, out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Now Clementine's gonna be asking questions and stuff. We gotta tell her the truth. Does everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Why did that just sound like a Lego? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. 
See, Dad's a smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> sure. Why was she looking so go. excited? Put your fingers in the drawers. You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies. My friend Alfred has peanut allergy. But you're cool. I think so. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing, and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Thought he was gonna say, all right, you little effort. <laughs> I literally thought that's what the subtitle said, bro. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Will you just shut up? Dang, Clementine? Gosh, dang. They're dead. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. All right, Clem, I got you, though. I got you with the med kits and the band-aids. Bro, what are you doing? Dang, get the freaking band-aid. Dang. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Yeah, Let's I can tell. Can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. All right. Oh, man. I plan on completing the full episode today. Or, yeah, this recording I plan on... Lee? Completing the full episode. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Oh, my gosh. They're alive. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Man, Clem keep asking about her family. TV. Listen, Clem, you don't gotta... You don't gotta worry about that. You don't. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. I don't want to help Larry. Larry's a waste. Larry's a waste of some meds. Get back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. 
can't explain all that to Clementine. She doesn't need to know every single thing. She's only eight. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was Larry, just doing what I, I had already to know. Here. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. My we'll boy, hold Glenn. On this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? Why was I she looking like, like that? Son. What the fudge? Family here. I'll take Carly and her she looked like she just dropped an ice cream cone on the ground. As fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. All right. Um, here you go, Clem. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Gotta take care of my girl, Clementine. You already know what it is. Pretty much, she's the most important person in this room besides Lee. Carly, I oh, don't know. I oh, don't know if I'm gonna get you anything. one of those Nothing, things. Luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Tell me about it. left comes back as one of them why are they attracted to eating people though what is the point of eating if you're dead I, no disrespect but i mean the zombies like why do they eat if they're not alive in the first place that guy over there has the keys how can you be sure i found this in the office that boy in the photo worked here the keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. We wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. There is. Oh, trust me, there is. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's a universal. universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Hey, you stupid freaking zombies, go over there and look at TV. I got a few of them to take notice. What is you looking at, buddy? But not enough. At that point, I just need to make a freaking run from it. 
Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Alright, Carly, let's see what you're talking about. You want a you're freaking a bar? Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Alright, let's go save Glenn. Let's freaking do this. Shut up. Man, how can they even hear? Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Be careful, bro. It's just Glenn in there. Guys. Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, then. Wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age old problem. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I'm 
done trying to punch out windows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> I pulled out a pillow! Nah, that takes the cake! That takes the cake! I pulled out a freaking pillow! Why do I have, like, I have two options to... Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Sadly, that it does not sick. work like that. Alright, so now we use the spark plug on the window. Time to break this son of a gun. Stay good. Oh. Let me see the spark plug. The person inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Although a screwdriver wouldn't be the best option, that's all we got to work with. Other than that axe that we seen, you know, we could definitely have picked that up. Dang. Let's go body this zombie over here, though. That thing enjoying its dinner. Hope that's the only thing it finds to eat, too. Come over here, mother fracker. Tonk, why did you stab him in the chest? Huh? Fuck! We did him! Why did you fall, Glenn? Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Sorry, my boy. I would use a screwdriver on you. You gotta bring out the big guns. Oh, what? Oh, oh you want to be reaching. You want to be touching. Get going somewhere. Hey. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. No, I got it. Yeah, we got nothing. I got it. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Get to the side, buddy. You as well. Hey, man, head came off right clean as a mug.
Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. Carly, we did if not come here up, for no reason. We can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Badly. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't um, want that. That's what I'm it's saying, Glenn. Leave me, please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll she can't. You a doctor. It'll How's be she okay. gonna think it through with no oh, brain? All right. No, oh. No. Okay. How's she gonna think it through now, Lee? She already had her mind made up before she blew it. Oh my God. Let's get out of here. I can't, man. I don't know if I can keep those jokes in the video, bro. Here they come! Get in! Everyone alright? Mm. Yeah. I don't we know if we're okay calls, mentally, man. Is fine. Stuff okay. we just seen out there, bro. Okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Glenn is devastated. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, well, we got something we to work with now. To back to Fort we got an axe. We'll do our damnedest. Which means we can break the lock. And then there's that brick outside as well. So go we're good. We're chilling. Side. We're chilling. Let's have a look around. Let's I, I forgot around. this dude's name. Okay. Nice. Awesome. A strong old axe. Let's breaking metal and stuff. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Gotta open the gate, buddy. How he just teleport?
now's the time. Be careful. Dang, this this scene is gonna be emotional, y'all. Dang, Lee, it's your twin. Literally, this is gonna be your twin in the next couple episodes. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a Dang, second. bro, shut up. Let me have my moments of grief. Say goodbye, bro. No remorse. <laughs> I don't got remorse. I gotta lift this log off, buddy. All I care about is them keys, man. I'm sorry. Bop! Get this over with. The quicker, the better. You're not what you used to be no more. And I, and I keep on going, too. He ain't done? Now he is. Alright, let's do this. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Bro, the only reason he turned around is because you screamed heck loud in my ear. Bro, why did he just run like that? Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Wow, bro. We gotta hurry. Uh. Every zombie and they mom is gonna pull up. What you got a screwdriver in you for? Objective is. We don't make it through this. We should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. We gonna make it through. We don't make it through this. You should know. I'm gonna make it. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Are you sure? See, Carly, this is your first mistake. What? Come on, come on, come on. Hey. 
Dang, man. This is crazy. Pick up a shelf, a book, something. Barricade this door. See all them shelves? You don't see all of them shelves. You can put like 3,000 of them by the door. I found something. How? Carly! Carly! Look, this is the dumbest part of the game! They could easily both pull off the freaking thing! Carly don't know what it is to have two- You have two feet! You have two feet! This man, Doug, must have no type of strength. I would have been yanking them things on my ass. Get off me! Get off me! You gotta move! Oh, that was the same zombie with the screwdriver in it. Why does it give me the crosshair? Like, was I able to like prevent it from happening? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today, especially a good friend. Nice, Kenny's that guy. Kenny's that dude, man. Yes, sir, man. Oh, those are just flashbacks. Hey, Glenn. Uncountable severe emergencies in all counties. Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening. You got Rick there too, my boy. A few days ago. Could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Alright, well, let's see what they're up to Folks over here. Call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. 
I got your back, pal. Alright. So, we got some water right there, man. That water bottle looking mad familiar. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I yeah, we stupid. could have. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I guess it doesn't matter. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Look at him, bro, man, he's devious. I wanna punch him. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, oh man. Punk? What do you want? What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oh, we don't got light no more. And I think that's episode one, baby. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. Would you look at I that? We just this, completed okay? episode one. Clementine no. starts feeling weak. It took me a little minute. Uh, I'm tired. Oh, I can't hold you. Gotta get food soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. Oh, We're from St. John Dare. Oh. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Hershey's. I don't know. 
how consistently I plan on Something's uploading The Walking Dead, gonna be a war. but this, Walker, I'm gonna have to sacrifice some storage. <laughs> a lot of it, too. Shoot. y'all enjoyed today's episode make sure y'all share some love hey this is gonna be a great series trilogy whatever let's freaking go i'll see y'all in the next episode man catch y'all later